Okay, we're at Red Ash Cemetery. She's going to get her camera out and some stuff. And we'll see what's going on here. Downhill. It's going to be easy to go down and hard to walk back up. <laughs> Oh, these are like babies. This one here was three months old. Yeah. And it is hot today. Very hot. Very peaceful here. There's no noise from the, from the road down there. Yeah. Let me make sure. Yeah, I got them. Chloe's brain. Is she coming? Are you coming? Eighteen ninety seven, died nineteen sixty nine. Eighteen ninety four, died nineteen forty four. That one you can't even read. Oh my God, this one's born eighteen seventy. Died in 1930. 60-year-old. Wow. See, there's some here that got no names on them. This just says Jake Gordon. This one died in 1957. That's the year I was born. Where you at, honey? <laughs> she's coming. She's going to video. Let me walk right over here. Hmm. Dang, this is back in the 1800s. 1870, 1880, 1887. If y'all see or hear anything, please wait We're just walking around, scoping it out. So when we come back next Sunday, with the paranormal investigation crew. We'll be back here in the dark and see if we can capture anything. Well, this guy was a private infantry division. He's died in World War II, June 5th, 1945. Fletcher Lowe. That's a big tree. A lot of these uh, grays are the miners that got blew up in an explosion at the at the mine. And there's some veterans in here too. Here's the Goins family. Well, this was just a baby. April, four days old. Honey, look at this big deer. Get out of here. Honey. Get out of here. Look at this big deer right here. Get out of here. I wonder if I throw the rock at it. 
Y'all see the deer? Big old deer. Is that a white tail deer? Looks like it might could be a, uh, not a moose, but a. Get out of here. Don't get too close to it. It I'm might charge. Right it's just standing there looking at us. Look, it looks bigger, too big to be a whitetail, don't it? Is it even real? Yeah, it's real. Oh, yeah, it just moves. Yeah. It's not one of those. Uh, that's a big, a big whitetail deer if that's what it is. We're gonna go down here. Somebody knocked the head off the statue down here. Where'd that deer go? Oh, he's standing right here looking at us. I don't know if you can see him. He's standing right there looking at us. We hope it's not a shapeshifter. <laughs> yeah. Better not be no shapeshifter. Looks too big to be a white tailed deer. It's a shame somebody knocked the head off of this one. Wonder why they knocked the head off of this statue. They left some money and sent a bead, some beads. I swear that thing is that's too big to be a white tailed deer. She's up there and I'm down here. It's probably some unmarked graves on down through there. Here's a big one. Sue and Russell. She died in 99 and he died in 2000. That's a big old, if that's a white tail, that's a huge white tail. I don't think it's a white tail. It's I think it's a, a lot, much more lighter. I know, that looks like a, what was it they turned loose up in, the, in, up in these mountains? Elk. Elk, yeah. That's a, that could be a baby elk. Yeah. Could be. And I don't trust them things. They'll charge you. Okay, so. I hollered and hollered at it and it just stood there, looked at me. <laughs> As long as you don't charge, you'll be all right. We just won't go that away. It's not afraid of us. That big old tree, it's dead. Yeah, it looks like a baby elk. And where there's a baby, there's got to be a mother. You know what, honey? Yeah. If that's a baby elk, then its mother's around here somewhere. Elks will charge you. Listen, find me a stick. <laughs> Dang, this ground's all dug up for some reason. Okay, you ready to head back up? You ready to head back up? Yeah. 
very steep hill you gotta walk back up. And the bugs are crazy down in here. She's way down there. Trying to get a voice to come through. We're going to come back next Sunday. The whole crew will be with us. be six of us. And we'll come back in the dark. Let's see what this says. Howard G. Green, born in 1871. And died in 1928. Whew. There's one, there's one, here's one, there's one. Good Lord. So it just says Howard Atkins. Born 1912 and died in 41. He must have been, he could have been in World War II. <clears throat> Fingers keep getting in the way. Uh, yeah, 18 and 50. Died in 1916. Good Lord. That's an old one right there. Can't even read that one. I'm still, he's just standing there. He ain't moved out of that spot. It says, Jim, and then we love talking. Said what? Jim, and then we love talking. We love talking. Well, they can talk next Sunday night. That's probably what them people's hearing these deer up in here, or elk, or whatever the hell that thing is. It's a baby elk. It's too big to be a. What? No, we can do all that next Sunday. Okay, I just wanted to come scope it out. See, we just got rocks as markers. They're so old. Oh, Sarah Ellen Brown. Born in 1876 and died in 1911. Good Lord, she didn't even get to see the Model A come out. What does that say? Something brown. Can't read it. And here's a guy with one, here's the one made it look like a tree stump. And I guess a dog sitting there, and its head's broke off. Pauline, daughter of J.R. and Bessie Ivy. Huh. Somebody broke the head off of that, too. Ah, oh, these people can't respect the graveyard. So what this is. Johnny Russell, Marine Corps. Born in 49 and died in 2007. Wow. Marine. Hmm. That, I can't see that. I hope it's still standing down there. I bet this place is... Spooky as crap at night time. There's one born in 38, died in 48, 10 year old. And the head's knocked off of that one too. Somebody's coming around here breaking the heads off these. Good Lord. She's way over there. Let's see. Born in 1904, died in 1988. 
I was born in 27, died in 2009. Wow, these some old, old graves. What does this say? Horridge Bird. Born in 1909. Died in 1944. So he wouldn't be 35 years old. Hmm. Let's see. Earl Bird. PFC, engineer, World War II, born in 1912 and died in 1955. This must be his brother, Ernest Bird, infant sons, born here. So infant son, not sons. A little boy born, buried there. Are you coming? No, give me a minute. Way down there. It's hot up here. I'm glad we'll be coming at night when it's cooler. It gets real cool at night now. It's hot in the daytime. Man. Oh, I done seen these. I'm going back to the shade. What? I can't hear you. Man, my, my hearing's going. Totally deaf in my left ear now. I can't hear hardly anything out of my right. I wonder what this is for. Huh? There's a pipe standing here right in front of this gray. I don't know what to... Ain't no telling what this pipe's here for. Was well, it supposed to be where she can breathe? It's full of water. <laughs> This graveyard is on a steep, steep hill. <sighs> Going down is easy, coming up is hard. <laughs> we'll be back next Sunday. At least we'll know a little bit about where we're at around here without coming down here in the dark and not knowing about it. Dorothy Tackett, 1917 to 1944. Okay, I'm gonna sign off. It'd be good for right now.